Here with my brother Kiefer Collison from Heinegwai. Hello. How's it going? It's going extremely well, Stan. This guy right here is amazing. I first met you at the Youth Entrepreneur Symposium. Yes, in Ottawa. When was that, 2012? Something like that. It's been like maybe two, three years. Yeah, now. it's been quite a while. Yeah. It feels like I've known you a lot longer than just a couple of years. That's a good thing, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I, I just, I, I really, I wanted to take a few moments uh, of your time, Kiefer, and I wanted to tell people, and all the people that watch this video, I'm sure there'll be legions of fans from, <laughs> Haida, from Haida's watching the video, but telling everybody how much, I, I think, how awesome you are, right? Yeah. You are. Thank you. You're incredible. All right. And the reason why you're, you're so incredible, of course, you got this great voice. I do have the voice. <laughs> I do. I love it. I have the voice. And uh, I also have been told I have the face for the radio. <laughs> so it has led me in many amazing directions. But you know what also too, like you, you need to have this voice to do the, this kind of work, but you also need to choose your words wisely. And from what I saw today and experienced you today speaking, is you really move that room and you touch the spirits of everybody there. Yeah, well, it all comes back. My, I was asking my father, I was about to speak in front of lots of people at a, at a potlatch. And he says, don't worry about it. All you have to do is speak from your heart and it has to be the truth. And then you don't have to be scared of anything because if it's coming from here, it's meaningful. And if it's coming from here, it's gonna be right. So I've just been living my life like that and that's the good word that I've been teaching when anyone ever comes up to me and asks me for speaking advice. I say it has to come from the heart, but it has to be true. Hmm. So that's, that's kind of the method I use when every time I get up and speak in front of a crowd. And you know, one, one thing that uh, I'm, I'm kind of getting into with, with my business, I'm, I'm kind of helping people wanting to learn and grow as speakers. And one thing I'd never like to do is I never like to read from notes or I never like to have notes. And what I experienced you today is, is you, you weren't doing that too. But people think we wing it, right? Yeah. But we don't. No, definitely there's no winging involved in it. Uh, for the Don't Dream It, Be It youth conference that we both just attended, in Prince Rupert, British Columbia. I've been thinking about my speech for a very long time. I mean, where all they asked me to do was speak about my story. Now, obviously, I've lived my story, but piecing my story together isn't an easy task. And I've been thinking about what I'm gonna say for an extremely long time because I want to do justice for these kids. I want them to get the feeling of exactly how I grew up and how I am, who I am today. So there's a lot of thought that actually goes into it. And I speak to people before I go up and present. I talk to them about what I'm going to say and how I'm going to say it. But I just have a conversation like we're having right here. Yeah. And then I use what I've said to you to, and I say it to them. So it's been working out great for me so far. Man. So I'm just going to keep on going on the way I'm going. You know, one thing I really like about your style, Kiefer, is that when you when you stand there and you read a piece of paper, it, it's, it's, it's about you and your paper, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but when you get up in front of people and you can walk around and look people in the eye, uh, you make that personal connection because it, it, then it seems like you're actually talking to the individual, right? Yeah, exactly. How important is that, Kiefer? You have to identify with who you're speaking to or they're going to get lost. If they don't, again, if they don't believe what you're saying, they're going to, they, they got technology, they're going to go bust out their phones. They're going to come, you know, boom, Facebook, check it out. No, my goal is to keep everybody off their phones. I'm going to dominate them with my voice and with my truth. <laughs> and, uh, you know, hopefully, they're, they're listening and they're absorbing. You know, you've been in a couple of groups that I've done, right? Um, honestly, have you been on your phone while I was talking? No comment. <laughs> Dude, you're Haida. Yes. Right? You're Haida. Proud Haida. And there are people, a bunch of Haidas will be watching. Yes. Uh, I've been adopted into the nation, into the clan, the Kanlanis, and it just it blew my mind. Yeah. Blew my mind. And you were there. Um, your dad's my chief. Um, and it just means so much to be welcomed into your nation, into your family. Mm -hmm. um, how important is it, Kiefer, uh, to, to never lose sight on where you come from? Because it seems to me that you're working here, you're working up in northwestern BC, uh, but the time is going to come really soon that you're going to be working all over this country. How does it feel to remember where you come from? You've got to know where you come from to know where you want to go. My roots are on Haida Gwaii and they always will be, but those roots are growing. And I'm only 25 years old, and so far they've grown to Terrace, British Columbia. In five years, I don't know where I'm going to be. But all I know is I wake up every day excited and looking forward to the next. So, and then just having that connection and the support that Haida Gwaii has shown me throughout my, my time on Haida Gwaii is, I couldn't do it without the people of Haida Gwaii and without my family being so supportive. 
and it's it's Haida Gwaii, again, it's something you have to experience. I, I can't explain it, and I, I've I lived can. there my entire life, and nothing will ever do it justice. There's no words in the English language that can describe Haida Gwaii. So if you can show everybody by a facial expression, how would you describe Haida Gwaii? Facial expression. Like there's like godlike, like it's just like angels descending from heaven carrying one heavenly note, like, ah. Mine would be this. <laughs> the lip quiver, yes. <laughs> I could see that. I I dearly, dearly, dearly miss you when I'm not with you. Yeah. I dearly, dearly miss your family and the people from Haida Gwaii. The people from Haida Gwaii, you, Peter, your dad, your aunties, your uncles, your nephews, all of my new brothers and sisters, my aunties and uncles, have completely inspired and really touched my family in, in a very, very sacred, special way. Uh, thank you for all the gifts that your people have given me and my family. No man. problem. Thank you for allowing your family to be a part of my family because uh, your wife and daughter are amazing. I love them. And they're, again, remember, I want to remind everybody that Stan is never allowed on Haida Gwaii without his wife and his daughter. So that's a rule now. So if he comes on Haida Gwaii alone, we're sending his ass right back. <laughs> <laughs> and we're getting Mandy and Maya right back on the plane. Huh? Yes, but I wanted to I wanted to profile you here because I wanted to tell people how amazing you are. Thank uh, you. Where can people find you? Here? Uh, people can find me on Facebook, on Twitter. Um, Kiefer is a pretty unique name, so if you type in Kiefer Carlson, chances are you're going to find me. Uh, I would suggest googling me because I have quite a bit of stuff on Google about me, which is extremely surprising. You've checked, I'm sure. I've googled myself quite often. <laughs> What's the hashtag Kiefer? The, the, hash the hashtag. Hashtag Kiefer Real. And it's, uh, it's kind of grown and developed into my mantra, this kind of thing that I live by. And when I say Kiefer Real, I, I, I say Kiefer Real because Kiefer Real to me means being me 100% of the time. There is not one second of this day where I'm not being me, where I'm not trying to make situa situations better. That's what Kiefer Real means to me. So when I see somebody Kiefer Real, I'll be like, you keeping it real. Nice. You're doing it big to say that as well you're doing it big you're keeping it real so they kind of go hand in hand but uh, and it's just a cool thing to hashtag and it's pretty unique and it sounds like keeping it real so it's like a play on words <laughs> <laughs> i was telling people today at the conference and i know some of us also older people i'm 41 you know i got a few years on you but we think we're really awesome sometimes we'll see somebody <laughs> a little or a little younger than us will say oh you remind me of me when i was your age but i've told people today and i'll tell people today that you don't remind me of me because you're so incredible already. <laughs> you're already so amazing in what you Thank do. you. Thank you. I, again, it comes back to my family and always being so supportive. I've never felt afraid to fail. And that has been huge for me, uh, just taking on different obstacles and different challenges and knowing that if I fail, I have this amazing support network to back me up and to help me keep going with my career and my path. Uh, again, my dad and my mom, anytime I've ever needed help, they've stepped up and done it. Same with my sister and my brother. Anytime I've ever needed help, they just say, oh, okay. You know, it's just like, but they do it with their hearts, just like I do. They put everything they have into it. If we're gonna do something, we're gonna do it with love and we're gonna do it right. Nice. And uh, it's a beautiful thing to have. You know what? Um, so let's let's keep it real. Yes, sir. Let's make it happen. Yeah. Keep for Carlson, everybody. Yeah. Thanks for joining me. Let's Thank do you. this again real soon, okay? Yes, it has to happen. Yeah, all the best. My name's Stan. See you around.